there is a couple of interesting things that are going on at the moment. The fact is that everybody has always spoken about television programmes, but now you can see that conversation. Um, so, you know, people shout at the telly, uh, people would lean over and say, you know, he's, he's quite a good actor, isn't he? Or, you know, have, have opinions about stuff. And now that is online, you can see it every time you watch a programme and get onto Twitter, people are talking about it. And actually, for programme makers, it's incredibly painful for them to see people commenting on their program because before that they didn't ever hear anything except maybe a critic who has had access to print um, would say I didn't think that was a very good program and say well I've never liked him anyway um, and be able to bat it away now some very personal comments happen about your film and they're generally quite pertinent there's quite a grown up audience out there and broadcasters don't know how to, quite how to handle that and I've had two instances lately one for a programme called BBC, uh, it's called The Code, which is all about mathematics, but it masquerades under something along the lines of, there's a code out there. Um, and everybody on Twitter says, well, why don't you just call it maths? We're grown up. I'm really annoyed that you're calling it The Code all the time. So anyway, you've got immediate critics, and you've got social, what's called social TV, which is massive, absolutely massive. And people need to be looking at how to enhance that audience and bring them closer to that to your brand to your program give them opportunities to learn more give them opportunities to dig deeper give them opportunities to talk to each other about the program so you've got a, a core brand which is authored and then you have a conversation around that that brand which needs to be articulated um, the next thing is non-linear broadcast so when IPTV comes along you'll have opportunities to watch a program, let's say it's a program like uh, Bang Goes the Theory, which is just out, outside the door here. Um, what we do online is we create a sort of companion pieces that essentially follow something uh, that's in the program. So in the program will be something about dark matter, uh, and then there'll only be a certain amount of time to be able to discuss that in a half an hour long program. But with IPTV, you can just say, something can pop up uh, on screen and say want to learn more about dark matter now or do you want to bookmark it and save it for later and then p people who are interested in that particular subject will think okay yeah I want to stop it now because I'm watching on my own nobody to bother me I am you know we are we all easily distracted now um, and then off we go look at the explainer for dark matter I think okay now I think I understand what he was talking about move on to the next thing called, I think, not the best expression, but it's called concerti Concertina TV at the moment. So you kind of, so there's your narrative, but you can open it up and slot in another piece of content and read, take that on and then move on. Um, so I think IPTV gives us huge amounts of opportunity, not just with additional information, but you know, branching narratives, um, being able to ask people to maybe solve something or do something if you perhaps